Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Spike Krause, and you're listening to Jewish Rock Radio. I've always been musical as long as I can remember. Um, I mean, my family has home videos of me, you know, with a plastic four-string ukulele or plastic six-string guitar from two years old. Um, singing, my dad played guitar um, and was a song leader, is now a rabbi. Um, and so, you know, he taught me to sing, singing along at home. Um, and an early influence on me was actually Craig Taubman. Uh, I used to listen to his, uh, to his Jewish children's music CDs uh, from a very young age, and they were great. And I think we knew from a long time that I was, I was going to do music with my life and, and that that's where I felt comfortable. I released my first full-length Jewish studio album uh, in April now, um, 2015. It's called Shake Off the Dust, and uh, ever since then I've been starting to tour in artisan residence in synagogues and day schools. Um, I've been songwriting at summer camps, first at the URJ Eisner camp, uh, and then at Kutz camp for the last several years. Um, and that's been actually a great way to um, kind of spread my music around and, and figure out what works, what teens are looking for, what adults are looking for, what kind of communities um, are, looking, are looking to hear. Um, and so I'm just hoping to keep on touring, keep on making music. Hopefully people will still be into it. Um, and you know, hopefully I can keep on growing and, and just make my life um, traveling around the country, singing with communities, building relationships, and uh, writing and, and sharing my music with, with everyone. If you think about Christian rock for a second, and Christian pop music is that it's everywhere. Um, and the reason that it's everywhere is because it's on the radio. And you know, kids, even if the lyrics aren't necessarily um, very, very Christian in, um, in message and meaning, um, it's on the radio, kids are listening to it in the car, they're listening to it on their laptops when they're doing work, when they're hanging out. Um, and there really hasn't been a forum for that in Jewish music. Really, it's been a mouth-to-mouth -mouth kind of process, you know, learning it at Sunday school from your Sunday school teacher or hearing the song leaders at your summer camp or at your synagogues. Um, and I think that there's a really uh, unique possibility and a unique vision uh, for companies like Jewish Rock Radio to help bring Jewish music uh, to the forefront and kind of you know, be loud and proud and relevant and have kids listening to it in their cars and when they're hanging out. Um, because it's an aspect, it's a whole tool, a, a way to engage that I don't think we really get um, otherwise. Um, and it can reach a whole, a whole group of kids that maybe don't like to study Torah or don't like to be in school, but Jewish music with message and meaning and education can really be that, that, way, that way in. Um, and that's the role I think that, that Jewish Rock Radio has in companies like it to really bring Jewish music to the forefront. Another life means one more dream bound to unfold. And I've been working overtime to find where you've been hiding. Another chance, another dazzling day of rest. And just one glance to know I've never felt so blessed. Now that you are by my side, my spirit sets to flying. Ki esh merashabats, el hish mereini, oti stare, it's in your heart and in your eyes, the perfect pair, and I've got your back and you've got mine, and somehow you are always there to catch me when I'm falling, so I keep this day, and every time I think of you and be swept away, every song I sing for you and I'll never be far behind anytime I hear you calling Ki esh merashabat El hish mereini Oti Until whenever, how about forever? 
It's a symbol eternal that I can always find you. Shabbat El Yishmer 